all you do? Run over there. <laughs> so run right, right, right back. I can show you some real big niggas that can run better than a lot of small niggas. No, we're talking about. No, 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 no. We're no, no, not talking that. about some OL no, linemen that's in that. the league. Nah, that's what we're talking about. Because if I'm sitting there, you don't know me. You don't know me. Look, Rap City just dropped a new project called sure. Eve. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're about to do that thing. She's just too good to. We were listening to the. We listened to the first track or two, and was like, All right, I think yeah. I, I was about to say I we think. have to break this joint down a little bit. I feel like the artwork. Everybody gonna have this type of. I feel like once it's always hurt. It's hurt to the side. I mean, it's rap. And this is it. It's a rap album. And guess who's on the front of it? Rap. Is that mine or yours, boy? I'm not worried about you, bro. I'm living my own life, bro. I live my own life. Okay. All right. All right, bet. I swear, I don't understand people like Terrence. You go to a fast food restaurant, already eating like shit, and what do you get to drink? Hawaiian punch. And what'd you get? I was wholesome and got the Sprite. <laughs> the funny thing that is- That red juicy funny, shit you drinking? You think the Sprite is more healthier than the, the juice? I'm getting juice because I'm get, look, to stay I get from soda. But like, grow up. Grow up and get a Cocoa Sprite. Terrell, I'm, All trying, to stay away. I'm trying to stay away Ooh, from this. Let me try the raspberry brisk. You know what? It's going to be people in your life that's going to hate on you. And guess what? They're going to be related to you. You know what's crazy? It might be your mother, your sister, your brother. People are going to hate on what you do. You just got to live your own life. The truth always Turn get them out. The truth always get disguised as hate. <laughs> Anytime somebody spe anytime somebody use strange fruit, it's always a yeah, it's always a hit, man. Shout out to Billy Holiday. So, and the song is called Nina. So mm -hmm. Nina Simone has her her rendition. Her rendition of it, of it right? For sure. Billy Holiday was the first to sing it. Yes. Pause it. I'm blood at the root. Now we already know who had the best. I just want to clear my mind now. It's been racing since the summertime. His stupid ass put that in the end of the album. The summer Could have started the album with that, you know but you said, nah, you now. know what? Let me start with on site. I got money on me right now, and I thought you could win. Let's get it! What the fuck they talking about? But Rip Kanye fan! Did he start with that? What no, you talking we about? started with on site. Let's go! This is a Rhapsody review. This is a Rhapsody. And breathe, and breathe. You know that part is fire. That shit is fire. <laughs> God damn it! You'd be dead wrong if Luke's could kill in the spirit of L Hill. She about to murder everybody. I'm telling you, bro. Her pen, her, her, her pen her pen is ridiculous. Have you seen them people what? that were leaving with ten? Yeah. We well, was getting pissed off in the line. We was like, I swear to God, hell had no more. That's some bullshit right there. Yeah, like you don't need about ten. I had to get eight sandwiches. Hell nah. You know, you oh got certain God. managers out there that's trying to map out the customer experience with... Yeah, You feel yeah. me? Some people are like, fuck it, we already made out budget over here. They ain't got a limit at the one on Ellington. <laughs> Y'all can have the bars, nigga. I spit hard middle gates. Give me Lewis Gates when I cop me some new estate. He said, Y'all can have the bars, nigga. I spit hard metal gates. Like, it's much more than just bars. It's more, more than bars. The one that you never heard of got my middle finger up like Pac after attempted murder. I literally have a picture of that in my phone. of that song that I've ever heard. Come on, bro. I am giving a trying damn. to do this right I'm now. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm really sorry. Not trying to do that. This song is good. Mm -hmm. This song is amazing, bro. We're going to leave it at that. Let's not try to compare it to Blood on the Leaves, bro. All right. The production crazy. This is fire, bro. There's a lot of celebration and then talking about like the realism behind what we've been through. Great because of the strange fruit sample, everything that Nina stood for. What you want to do is think about all of these different names and then think about how you can relay the message in the song to something that that person stood for. This yeah. is named, this song goes from after Cleo from setting off. Yeah, you thought I was tripping? She would have called it Cleopatra if it was after Cleopatra. Nah, when you hear Cleo, you think of one person. I do at least. Still love all day. Sisters, 
This dog is like. If you don't understand or if you don't recognize that Phil Collins sample right away, I can't then you're, un you're uncultured. Big shout out to Knife Wonder for producing this record as well as a lot of the other ones. And Phil Collins is a credited writer because of the hook. Take time to address the piece that ain't Nitrate and Jay-Z. Right. Only rap radars and need a dead man in the She's fire. Yeah. I've been in them offices. They don't look like you and me. I like how she said. Be careful opinion. the validations y'all seek. Fire. I like how she said. The only opinions I need is Knife Dre. The and only Jay rap radar I need. Knife Dre and Jay Z. The only rap radar I needed was them in the streets. The only rap radar podcast. Elliot Wilson. B dot. <laughs> I like how she said, I came back with more ammo like Cleo to burn. She talked about hitting rock bottom and how she came back with more ammo. Yeah, they ain't gonna but like Cleo, it when I bust back. Yeah, Cleo, when she hit that joint, put the cigarette. That's one of the most legendary shit that's ever happened with a black woman in a movie. I don't care what nobody said. That is a really good try. Cleo with the cigarette, like, I'm about to go out like a legend. I like that. They ain't gonna like it when I bust back. Think about what Cleo was. Cleo, on screen even though it was a movie. She was just harder than a lot of niggas out here. And you respected her as a woman. Even Dre respected her. You feel me? In the movie. Yeah. So, so like, she basically saying, I'm the Cleo of this rap game. Like, y'all got y'all nice sisters out here. And y'all all cheeky, whatever. All of y'all Frankies. Y'all of y'all Frankies Running. and y'all cool. <laughs> but I'm the Cleo. The straight shooter. A lot of y'all TT. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know anything about Zap and Roger, let me just tell you, go on your iTunes and search Zap, Z-A-P-P, -P, and Roger, and listen to the greatest hits. And say, ladies, let me tell you why. Because look, I, I can't hear. <laughs> I don't even think uh, Zach and Rogers is on this project, but that sound that just yeah, reminded me of that. That. Listen to what she say. When Aaliyah was alive, it was cool to be a tomboy. Tommy boy fly. Martin and Tommy boy, a cold world we all trying to survive. Martin Tommy and boy, Tommy boy fly. It could be Tom, Tommy Hilfiger. You see how she got the Aaliyah with the Tommy Hill With bigger? the Tommy Hill, yes. Yeah. Martin and Tommy Boy, a cold world we all trying to survive. Cold. Cold for Martin. But cold But Martin, world. when you think about the, the premise of the show, Martin, they was already just trying to survive where they were. No I don't think the cold world has anything, anything to do with J. Cole. It's just like a coincidence. It's just a coincidence, yeah. But. To be more than a woman right. now, come with some time. Are you that somebody? To be more than a woman now comes with certain ties. Are you that somebody? Remember, think about Aaliyah. More than a woman, more, more than, than a woman. woman. They look, yeah. tell me you're that somebody. Tell me how you're that somebody. Oh, yeah. So she's using Aaliyah's she song. Using Aaliyah's song within the, the song titled Aaliyah. I don't care what you gotta say about me no more. Double dutching when I'm talking and my back on the ropes. I'm double dutching when I'm tucking in my back on them ropes. That's fire. fire. Think about it. When you double dutch, you tuck your back when you like when you getting in. Yeah. But when you think about it, if I'm on the if I'm fighting and I'm like I'm touching my back on the ropes, it's almost like I'm double dutching because there's no way to double dutch du to try to jump in cool. You can't try to. You gotta have that. <laughs> You gotta have that, or you ain't gonna be able to get in and do it for real. <laughs> be like, oh, damn. Yeah, even Barack Obama did it. Even Barack, let me see. Look, look, what are y'all getting there? Remember, uh, look, Dr. Obama, Dr. Clark. Remember Dr. Clark on, on the side? Yes. House? I don't even know Barack ever did double dutch. Maybe I'm just thinking about Morgan Freeman. If you wanna be down, you know what you gotta do. Hope for Lay Low Rock. Y'all here to shake the system up. We gonna rock the boat. Cause I'm that somebody that you still need to know. We gonna rock the boat because I'm that somebody that you still need to know. Rock gotcha. the boat, rock gotcha. the boat. <laughs> that's fire. That's a beat that you freestyle to right there. I'm about to say that. I'm gonna go back when I was. I 
got a, I just got the Audi, got to get a detail, but my drive don't de depreciate the value of my resale. That's fire. I like that. I'm great on that. I like I'm that. I'm great on that. Dollars. Still talking shit up in this mother like we easel. That's fire. That's fire. Smokey out here taking the shit. A big shout out to this chick. I don't want to butcher her name, but she killed it. What's her name? Lee Lee 47. Whatever your name, L47. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna brush her name. You had a fire verse. Why do people's names now be looking like they like they username? Gamer like, tags. Yeah. They, they got clan media. tags as rappers now. No, YBN. <laughs> I wonder why she called this track Oprah. Dallas. Dallas Dallas circulate. Circulate. Because Oprah's the first Oprah's the one of the only women billionaires alive. Right. So black woman the only black, black woman. Only black woman billionaire alive. Yeah. First was who? Madam C.J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker. What are you talking about? They're my yes. first grade uh, Black History Project corner, boy. Okay, boy, you got a Madam C.J. Walker haircut. You need some Madam, Madam C.J. Walker products, boy, for that, that uh, sponge you got. You know the top? You ever see the top of a sponge? The green part? Yeah. If you don't know, Herbie Hancock. This is a Herbie Hancock sample that you hear all through the song with all them horns. That's Herbie Hancock. Yeah, he is very good. The first, the original rendition of this song is great. They gonna make a sister act up, turn my head into bank up, get it back, get it back, get it back, get the money up, call the girls up the bank up. They gonna make a sister act up. Sister this act. song called Whoopi. Yep, sister act. Whoopi Goldberg was in Sister Act. Yeah, fire. I'm chill, peace, chill, but y'all still talking crazy, crazy. Whoopi Goldberg is the only black woman, or no, I'm sorry, the first black woman to win an EGOT. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. Emmy is for TV, Oscars for movies, uh, Grammy is for music, Tony is for uh, stage play. Stage play. So. Do you not hear what she's saying? I'm one. trying to enjoy it. I love how she said. A smooth seat never made a skilled sailor. Uh, uh, All you niggas on the regular waves until you mash that storm, yeah. you not you can't call yourself you not out here. That motherfucking corner piece of the mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. God. Let's talk about good corner pieces. Uh, uh, Cornbread, cake, brownies, cake because you get more icing. Uh -huh. But sometimes it's a lot. But some if it's good icing, you yeah. want that corner piece. That's true. Uh, I don't know if anybody has a better pen than her, bro. Yeah. She's no female in the game is rapping better than rap. Mm. Fun fact about this song is called Serena. It's all about the fact that Serena entered a space where black people, specifically black women, weren't necessarily welcomed. And she broke through that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, yeah. There's Tennis. Now there's men who respect Serena's game. Yeah. And I guess Rhapsody want the same for her pen. Right. So Tyra is all about, uh, I, I get it, the look. Yeah. It's all about the look. She can talk her shit a little bit. Also, we got a little entrepreneurship in there because Tyra Banks has done so much for black women. If you think yeah. about her platform, think about it. We got Eva Pickford from there. We got Yaya. We got, uh, what's the other chick name? A lot of black women that either became models or even actresses from America's, from America's, America's Next Top Model. Remember, Maya Angelou has a poem called Cage Bird. Cage Bird. This is called black what? Well, this is called Maya. Okay. Uh, Maya Angelou. But they anyway, I never, I, I don't want to never keep my bird in a cage. Yo, when somebody That's like fine. her can rap, the beats don't mean much because what she says is more important than what we hear. That message is more important than than her sound. It's your idle time. Get you nowhere like you was Marina. Uh, Fantasia Barino, Idol Time, Oh, American man. Idol, yeah, 
Yeah, because you know how you idol, like not not I like not I D O L, but I D L E. Yeah, like idol means you're not doing anything. But the thing so is, so that idle time will get you nowhere. Like you was Barino. because you that idle time on on because that but American that, Idol got Barino. That's crazy. The fire line right there. That idle time will get you nowhere. Like you was Barino. because Fantasia got somewhere. Fantasia Barino got somewhere from American Idol. But that time you wasting won't get you nowhere. <laughs> Erica Badu sample is what that is. Erica Badu sample? Yes, sir. Maya was great. All about uh, black expressionism. You know, uh, he, it, what they said on here was that Rhapsody did start as a poet. So, they knew uh, she was going to run. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Back, back in the days, yeah. yeah. Not fucking with the trying to catch a wave part. You think somebody else should have saying? Like, why not use some auto-tune or something? You feel me? Nothing? Women been leading the way since Roxanne Shante and the unit had flayed. If Jay had Marcy neighbors that wave, looking confused like I'm cool, maybe it's age. When I see Afro, when I see Afro puffs, I think maybe it's rage. Like Lady Rage. Lady Rage. Yeah. And I love that because she's talking about the humanity that was uh, surrounding all these artists. Yeah. You follow the leader, the track is off the meter. A lot of rap is weak, low frequency in the tweeters. A lot of rap is weak, low frequency in the tweeters. I want to say her name is Iftaj Muhammad. Her name is Iftaj? Iftaj Muhammad. I want to say that's how you say her name. But she was the first uh, Olympic chick to wear a hijab. In okay. the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? So that was big. This song is called Merrily. It's about Mer Merrily Evers. Mega Evers was, she was assassinated. Yeah. Fighting against Jim Crow laws. And so she said, I could be like merrily emergency, the mayor said to me, I could be her too, the day I say I do. So like if I can marry my the black man that I married could I know. She also talked about karate, she talked about Betty uh Betty Shabazz, so Years and years on the end she chose to keep on, to hold on, to love, then to love again, then Alright. You're not gonna put the whole interlude in it. I'ma tell you I cannot sit through Spoken word. Is that bitch. I can't sit through it. He doesn't like spoken word. Because it's I not. I don't know why. You're not rapping, but you're not talking. So I just get immediately annoyed. Look, sitting on counters like a faucet that's been running all day. It's like, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about right now? Hey, look. I'm done with What are you that's talking about over there? Whatever y'all saying over there. Because I watched it. Up. Shit up. I'm watching it. <laughs> So this song is like a, it's like a feel good track, and it's called Michelle. I thought Michelle Obama, and everybody knows Michelle Obama just brings nothing but good vibes. It's crazy. When they go low, we go, we go high. The pilot idea, the original queen. The pilot idea, the original queen. Pilot is the start of a show. Mm -hmm. The original queen, the original woman, black woman. When you as fly as this, you ain't gotta worry about wings. Look, but still flying, commercial, private jets don't compare to the jets that I read. Think about a jet magazine. That was the, the first jet. magazine yeah. where black women was put on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So them commercial jets don't compare. Y'all buy those labels, I was born supreme. So y'all buy supreme, I, was, I am supreme. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you, he's getting off. Oh, he getting off? He talking about videos and stuff and that? Nah, did you hear what he said before that? He said, oh, like an agent of Secret Service, some CIA shit. CIA ain't okay with. He does. I like that. Yeah, he doesn't like. Talk. You on 
only got excited when he said X videos with your nasty ass. Uh, no, I didn't. I thought yes, you did. Your nah, smart you ass. stopped and said he got it. X videos, body ass boy. You stopped and got hyped about that. Not me. Hold I'm here for your protection, like a servant, like an agent, or some secret service, or some CIA agent. See, I ain't okay with the way they're trying to portray over the media. Alexandria, Egypt, and Africa. Never TD was probably black as Roberta, flat back with the fro. Check all my facts, because I be wrong, but I'm passionate, though. When I go to X videos, I'm always searching up the Ebony Amateur. Look at me being managed. I'm from Atlanta, where ghetto ballerina exotic dancers be so talented. Niggas get cash, and they get front and round and get banged. Like hey, but J.I.D. verse was crazy. In 50 seconds, he got all that off. He first started, his verse started at like 53 seconds left in the track and got all that off. Queen Latifah, it's literally who you calling a bitch? It's one of the best, one, better the best one that rap was song fine. ever. Uh, so for her to start with that, that gave me goosebumps. Yeah. The fact that she said even living single, we still connected to the tribe. She was on living single. I feel you. I feel you. I you feel remember you. that? Yeah. That's the basis of that. She actually said, it's I could so be, good to hear her rap. It is. She Ain't said, it? I could be Cleo or Gandhi to, be, to protect mine. I could be Cleo. Really? Or Gandhi. I could go back to that. Yeah. I could go back. And I'm good in every city worldwide. And why I've been rated for the last 25. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Fuck you talking about. Is there any clarity you can give us on the, the title? Hat she. Her name is, is it's uh, uh, Hatshepsut. It's Hatshepsut. She was the first Hatshepsut. black Egyptian pharaoh. In Queen that. Latifah might be the best feature on the album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The man that's on the throne is speaking. The man that sits upon the iron throne is giving a testament. Him on the iron throne. And all throne, you peasants need to listen. Him on the iron throne is like when... What was his name? <laughs> the the one after Joffrey was on the throne. Like you just said, uh, Tommen. Yeah, you, you just got, you got J Cole way fucked up if you think he's compared to Tommen. You just up there. Nah, like right now we all know that you just up there. But there's another man who's coming for that throne. Who? Jon Snow? Yeah, the real Jon Snow, the true heir to the throne. Is that is it? My last just went viral. Right, put a little baby in us. <laughs> oh my god. That nigga has been rapping in the last few years. <laughs> what? Nothing, bro. Let's keep going. What? <laughs> See my mama with the. First to the rest would never last. I had to show the positives for those that couldn't add. A quarter to a half of a whole lot of problems. Nigga, who taught you to add? That is crazy. What's a quarter to a half of a whole lot of problems? Don't give a fuck about what you have. Because it don't matter if you're not teaching all the young ones how to multiply their cash. And let me tell you, she washed J. Cole. You think she washed Cole? Yes. I think she did too. That was fire. It was I think too she washed much. Cole too. Make no mistake about it, you hating ass nigga. J. Cole is still sitting upon the Iron Throne. Nobody has dethroned this man yet. So, there's that. But she did wash him on this track. <laughs> That's Tupac, uh, where he literally, I, I don't know if he was on like a prison reform meeting or whatever the hell he was in, but he was in a room full of women and he recited his verse from uh, Keep Your Head Up. You gonna take it to the limit? Rib of rib, do you still feel the same? That's fire, and I love that. And the fact that it's called Afani after Tupac's mother, Afani Shakur, member of the Black Panther Party, that's fire. I love that. And it's all about empowerment. It's all about like loving yourself. And it's all about getting away from the social norms. That's why she put that in the in the hook. I wonder why we take from our women, why we rape our women, do we hate our women. It was some stuff in that song that she liked that I said, like when she was talking about how if you she hate said yourself, that I like. If you hate yourself, hopefully you don't have a daughter. Or hopefully she said if you hate yourself, hopefully when you have a daughter, 
You know what I'm saying? You tell her not to go up to fuck boys like you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Don't go off to people like you since you like hate yourself. It. That was one of the only tracks from the album where she was talking directly to like men too. Hey, but look, that's Rhapsody's Eve project. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's going to be a big contender for a Grammy this year. For I think it's definitely one of the best rap album. albums of the year. It's going to be tough to beat that. I think over a collective body of work. If we keep it at 100, people think Rhapsody's core group is men, but it ain't. Her core group that she's rapping to, for real, for real, is women. Y'all are the ones who have to support her. Because you got to think, men, we're not sitting out here playing and spending Cardi and Megs and the City Girls and all those other female rappers. We're not spending any records. That's why Rhapsody don't get that many, Rhapsody wouldn't get as many spins as somebody like Cardi because the ladies, or Meg, yeah. the ladies are not listening. We're not listening to none of it. Then you got Meg and think Cardi listen, who will get put on the radio and they men, get more plays that way. Men were the, the, the biggest, I would say, support factor from Layla's Wisdom. Though, That's what I think. I think we we buy with her because she can rap. Men, I think, who appreciate rap, support this. I think appreciate bars. Yeah. The men who appreciate it, support it. But like the dude said on Twitter, it is a woman album. I'm just saying that the ladies got to step up and support this album. More so than the men. We can't expect the men to be the barrier breakers for people like Rhapsody. Right, we gotta open true. the eyes of our female fan base, the women, because she making music for y'all, not us. Like when she called these songs, Queen, La she got a song with Queen Latifah on there. You got all of these songs, Serena, you feel me, Tyra, all of these songs are made to make women feel better. Not men. We can't be sitting there looking at men like, damn, y'all ain't gonna support Rhapsody. Hold right. up. We support all of y'all. I don't think we sit in here. I don't think men are sitting out there like, yo, put on that Meg the Stallion. We're not doing it. Y'all the ones playing these songs. Right. Hey, look, poll going to be right here. Go ahead and say whether you like the album, if it was lit shit or just okay. I didn't mean to be long-winded running through this life like it was mine. All right. <laughs> hey, look, follow us on the socials. They're going to be right down here. Yes, Twitter, Instagram, yes, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Valley Bros season two merch is on the shelf below. It's not gonna be there too much longer. Yep, because we so, got whole yes. store.com coming very soon. Brand new merch. It's, trust me. This new merch is about to be better than that bullshit that we've shown y'all before. This new merch is gonna be way better than that. Trust me, you're gonna wanna wear it. Terrence but, is spearheading all of the new merch yep. and the website. So I don't even know. He apparently got some samples on the way or something like that. So we do got some fun stuff coming. Hey, look, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, dog. If you've already been here, just make sure you got the notification bell on so you get notifications when we drop. Sir. By the time you probably hit Bruce Wayne. All right, you know what that means, dog. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, nice.